Happy August, my ballistic blood brothers and sisters in arms. Today I am back out at the range. We're at the test facility working on installment four of the video on the Serbo BFG 50 Mark II. Now, for anyone that's just joined into this series and didn't catch the first, or second, uh, or even third installment, this is a little different than your typical 50 BMG rifle. First of all, it is the first of a brand new line of rifles that Mark Serbu is going to be making. It is the familiar BFG 50, um, but it is the Mark II. And we explain the differences between the, the traditional and the Mark II in part two of this series. Um, something else that makes it special is I wanted a 16 inch barrel, not the typical 29 inch barrel, because my primary interest is to be running subsonic 750 grain AMAX rounds from Detroit Ammunition through a Bowers Verse 50 sound suppressor. I've got this thing dialed in at 100. Uh, we were this close to it last time we were out. Uh, and, and now it's time to push it further than that. But I've got a couple questions about the scope that I'm waiting to hear back uh, from One Leaf about. So there really isn't anything that I want to do uh, until I hear back from them. Uh, it's just a procedural type thing that I'm that I'm waiting for, but I don't want to be throwing uh, ammunition this expensive downrange without having a purpose for it. But I do have a purpose of being here today. I've punched enough paper with this, um, again, to get us where we want to be at 100. I want to hear some steel. I want to hear these 750 grain AMAX rounds slapping some steel at 100. So let's put a couple rounds downrange at 100 and uh, see if we can discern the blast, which there isn't very much. You'll notice I don't need any hearing protection at all, not even close to it. Uh, and the sound that it makes hitting the steel silhouette at 100 yards. If it's not too much trouble, take a moment to, uh, to pause and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, a lot of people believe they are subscribed or have subscribed over the last dozen years only to find that they're not subscribed and they're not getting notifications anymore. So if you'd like to continue to follow this series and the other neat things we've got coming up, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notify button so you know right away when we upload something new. Like a hawk, ready to strive. Quiet whispers in the wind, and we call in true. No need for knock the target over. Whispering death, silent and sleek. Unleashing power, no need to speak. Quiet whispers in the wind, deadly calm in true. No need for alarm. Whispering death, silent and sleek. Unleashing power, no need to speak. Down it goes again. Yeah, I think that we can hear the difference between it leaving and it impacting the target. Holy crap, it sounds like it's smacking it with a sledgehammer. Uh, and there's obviously some energy being delivered because it keeps knocking my silhouette target over every time it hits. Uh, standard rounds, including um, supersonic rounds that are much more common, like 5.56 and 3.08, and they don't knock it over, not even close to it. It just swings around a little bit. Uh, this thing is actually knocking the target over. Our next project beyond this uh, is going to be pushing it out at distance, 200 yards, 300 yards, and see what kind of drop we actually have because utilizing subsonic ammo is, is very close to artillery at some point with the curvature that you've got. And uh, we haven't even really started to, to notice that yet. We've, we've still been on the rising side of the curb from our initial 30 meter sight in. And that was done in uh, video one. I'll have a list of all the videos, one through four, 
uh, in the description below this video in case this is the first one that you've seen. So mission accomplished. It's awesome on steel. It delivers a lot of energy. It's easy on the ears. Uh, as soon as I hear back from the scope company, uh, we can start pushing out 200, 300 yards and uh, see what that drop does. But my mission today was to hit some steel in 100 and hit some steel in 100 we did. So I hope you enjoyed this short, quick uh, installment into this video series. Uh, it's an awful lot of fun. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already and make sure that you turn the notifications on so you can see when we upload the next installment. We also have some really other cool videos coming up uh, as the summer pushes on. Check out our merch available at Bunker Branding. There'll be a link to that in the description below the video. It's really nice stuff, lightning fast service, uh, great prices, super quality. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed with what they're putting out. It's, it's terrific stuff. If you like to talk guns, believe it or not, Facebook has been pretty decent at facebook.com slash guntestvids. We're there almost every day. If you have any questions, fire them away. Um, and until next time, have fun and be safe.